Okay, so here's a look at the Mini 4S Fusion Splice by Fiberfox. Let's go ahead and open this up so we can take a good look. Now on top of the case there, there's a little workstation for you where you can set the slicer and the cleaver and your tools there. Okay, now there's the power supply for the thermal stripper. And let's see what else is in here. Looks like we got a case for the cleaver. And this cleaver does multi and single mode. And it also includes the instructions right there with a couple of Allen wrenches. Don't lose those wrenches. It's for adjusting the blade when you need to rotate it from number one to number two. So on and so forth. Now there's the thermal stripper. I'll show you guys how to use that in just a sec. It's pretty cool. And let's see what else is in here. Looks like we got some cables. You got a USB cable for exporting the test results from the splicer to your computer. And you also have a pair of elect extra electrodes. So this does include a pair already installed on the splicer. And you got an extra pair. Now there's a brush. You want to make sure you keep everything clean internally. And there are also a couple other miscellaneous cables over there. Along with the power supply cable and the power supply for the splicer itself. Also does include a little pop into your cigarette lighter so you can go ahead and power it out in the field in case it goes dead on you. In case both batteries go dead on you because it does include two. Now there are the wipes. It's going to be a good idea to buy an extra pack of a hundred. Get That's a small pack. And you also have your cleaning fluid here. It does include a pair of strippers just in case that thermal stripper goes dead. You got a little back up there. And, and there's the holder for the cooling tray. There's a quick look at the battery. Let's go ahead and check this out. Now inside the case, there was also the holders for the 900 and the 250 micron. 900s for the tight buffer, the 250 commonly for the loose tube type of cable out in the field. And on the side here, you can go ahead and tell that's where you want to plug your battery into when you got to charge it. There we go. And then right above that's the USB port. Now I do want to mention that it'll hold up to 2,000 records, so that should pretty much handle any project that you're out in the field dealing with. And pop the battery out. Eh, there it goes. There's a quick look at the battery. Now this does include two batteries and typical 200 cycle splice and heat per battery. So make sure you keep those charged. Now when you get your splicer it does include a little sheet from the factory and this is the Splice test report. Now let's go ahead and open up the cover. Get a good look at what's going on in there. Now underneath the electrodes, I do want to mention that's where the cameras are at. There's two cameras down there. You want to make sure you keep everything clean. Don't touch anything. Make sure you use the proper swabs and the proper fluid. Do not use pressurized air. And on top of the cover, that's where the mirrors are at. So that's how the cameras take a look at everything there. Okay. Now this is an active alignment splicer. And you want to go ahead and unscrew it right there so you can replace the electrodes. The case does also include a screwdriver. Now that's the oven tray right there. And the average size of the splice protection sleeves, it seems like the 60 millimeter is the most common size. Now those are the holders that are included. Now I'm going to go ahead and replace this one and let's use the 900 size holder for this fusion splicer. And we're also going to use that same size holder to put, it helps out with the thermal stripper and with the cleaver. Here's an example of it sitting. That's how it's going to sit. Now 
okay, now let's we got our strand okay in place. It's being held with the 900 size because it's the 900. We have a tight buffered cable we're working with. And let's go ahead and turn on the thermal stripper. There we go. It has four different temperature settings. I just, I've always just left it at high. I haven't played with the other ones yet. Now you want to go ahead and put your holder right there in place. And when you close it on the holder, it, it, there's tension there, and that's what causes you to help pull it out. And you want to go ahead and hold down the other part. See, with my left thumb, and once the green light is flashing, it's ready to pull apart. It's fairly quick. Check that out. Done. And there's the strip jacketed part. Let's go ahead and clean it before we cleave it. Nice and clean. Now we removed a little piece there for this 900 adapter to go ahead and fit proper. And this cleaver does include the splice tray. I mean, not splice tray, it includes the scrap collection box to the right there. It's hard to tell if we got a perfect cleave, but once we see it on the screen, if something's off, the monitor and the fusion splicer will tell us before it even makes a splice. So there it is in place. Let's close her up. Let's turn on the monitor. I do want to mention this monitor is 4.3 inches. It is also a touch screen monitor. There's other options to play with internally. I just, I guess I just like buttons, so I'm pressing the buttons. And you do have tempered glass. You want to go ahead and press the set button. It'll align the glass. It'll do the arc. And after it's done, it'll tell you a loss of what the DB was for your splice. We got a fantastic splice right there. Check that out. Let's go ahead and remove Let's open it up. Let's take out our strand that was just fusion spliced. Don't want to touch nothing. Keep everything nice and clean. There we go. Good as new. Check that out. Let me see if I can get a better look for you guys. Let me close open this, close this tray. I do want to mention this is uh, Fusion Splicer does have a three-year warranty, and you want to buy from an authorized FiberFox distributor so that warranty will be valid. Now I'm getting ready to throw on a splice protection sleeve. You want to go ahead and make sure that's over the the part here that's uh, unjacketed. Now you're pretty much putting a new jacket over it. There's a good look, good as new. Now we got our sleeve on, you want to go ahead and place, put it in place, close the cover. You want to go ahead and hit the heat button, let's heat that bad boy up, and the heat timer will have a countdown. Now the heat time is 18 seconds. There it is. You might also want to buy more of them sleeves. This does not include those. And they're typically sold in a 100 pack and they're fairly inexpensive. There it is. So this is a great tool. If you're looking to maybe just dip your toe into fusion splicing, maybe you're not gonna do it all that often. The Mini 4S is a great option for you. And, and there it is. You can go and hoard this online, and spec sheets are online, and visit us online, discountlowvoltage.com.